Hello world, hello YouTube lads. Uh, right, for this video I was going to do a, uh, a first video. I was going to do Lobo number one versus Killer Frost number one. Uh, both DC comics of course, um, part of the Villains Month. And both by new writers who I've not heard of. But um, after reading both comics it, it was very clear to me that one comic was um, vastly superior to the other. So I'm not going to spend five minutes um, giving them both equal amount of time. I'll, I'll quickly talk about the, uh, the inferior one, that's Lobo number one. All you need to know about Lobo number one is that the bloke on the front cover is not the Lobo in the comic. The Lobo in the comic is this scumbag here with the um, cool um, haircut and the uh, nice clothes. He's a mercenary, he's a space mercenary. And um, the writer and artist glorify his psychopathic behaviour as he chops people up um, through the book. And not for any interesting reason, not for any um, a deeper sense of... Uh, of morality or humanity. No, he's just doing it because he's paid well. I'm not interested in that sort of um, character in the comic. Um, some of you is paid to be a psychopath, but probably do it for free anyway, let's face it. And I'm not interested to me. Um, as I read um, through the comic, and um, he's cruel to a family. There's a family of aliens. Yeah, that looks okay. It's quite nice. Um, yeah, he's, he's cruel to that family, of course. Um, but he's betrayed in a very um, cool way. He's very witty, very quick, you know, very quick witted, um, perfect body, um, great swords or weapons, um, as I said before, perfect haircut, and um, yeah, it's, ma it's making a psychopath seem cool, uh, so I'm not too um, interested in that. It, it kind of disgusts me, to be honest, making psychopaths appear to be cool. That's why I'm not a fan of characters like um, Harley Quinn, even though lots of people like her. So that's a little bit of number one. Uh, it was responsible, gave her the name again. Marguerite Bennett is the writer. Um, sorry, you failed. A load of crap. I'll give that a 2 out of 10. Uh, this is a much better comic. There we go. That's Killer Frost. Um, I'm going to get the 3D version of this because this, this is a, this is a quality stuff, this one. Well, I didn't know who Killer, this Killer Frost person is. Uh, I've never heard of her at all. I assume that she's the daughter of um, Mr. Freeze or something, but, but she's not. She's Dr. Caitlin Snow, a, a young scientist. There she is. And what we have in this comic is um, her origin story. We see how Caitlin Snow became um, Killer Frost, of course, Killer Frost. And the way the way she became Killer Frost was um, um, she was set up really. She was set up by um, a, a scientist friends who had other agendas. I won't go into too much detail about that, but um, it's interesting, and you have some sympathy for her as well. Um, there we go. That's the first look of her as Killer Frost. It's quite sweet, isn't it? And she's not just a emotionally bad guy. She's not just a paying thing character, somebody who would do things for money. She's she's a bit deeper than that. And um, because she's a bit deeper deeper than just a mercenary, she's more interesting. You have, you have sort of um, a kind of sympathy for her. And there's a big connection between um, um, Killer Frost and Firestorm. Fire and Ice. Some beautiful artwork there. Um, but without going into too much detail again, um, Killer Frost needs Firestorm. She needs him. So there's a bit of um, romantic interest there as well. But it's, it's more than just um, a teenage romantic interest from somebody fancy and somebody else. It's, it goes a bit deeper than that. Now get the book yourself to, to, you know, to find out what I'm yapping about here. But uh, please believe me, it's very good and it's um, has an emotional resonance, which is what you need in, 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 um, in top um, comics. And at the end of the book, um, actually I won't show you the the, the, uh, the final page, you have a, uh, a fantastic um, scene, a fantastic bit of artwork where you're looking down on, um, on Killer Frost, feeling a lot of sympathy for her, even though she's a villain, and um, she's saying, I just, I just don't want to die here from the cold. And it's, oh, it's lyrical, it's, it's poetic, it's, um, there's lots of um, romance there as well, I know it sounds like a daft thing to say, but there's lots of romance with, um, with um, Killer Frost. He's got a slightly daft name, but the character's <laughs> the character's more interesting than her uh, slightly daft name. So there we go. Um, this one's done by uh, Sterling Gates. Sterling Gates is the writer, and and Durlis, uh, Santa Cruz. Santa Cruz is, is the artist. He takes some fantastic angles. Um, I, I, I want to show you the last panel, but I'm not sure if I should. I'll give you a quick quick look. Last panel. See the angles. The angles the artist, artist takes. Beautiful. Anyway, 
uh, yeah, get Killer Frost and don't get Lobo. Uh, Killer Frost number one or 7.2 Justice League of America. I'll give that a strong 9 out of 10. Yes, 9 out of 10. It's really very good. I want to see more of Killer Frost. Uh, there's a Killer Frost comic. I'll pick that. I'll definitely pick this one up. It's really good. And the writer Sterling, wasn't it? Sterling Gates is the easy one to um, look out for in the future, I suggest. But before I go, I just want to say that um, I finally got Forever Evil um, just about, uh, about half an hour ago in the mail. Got it on eBay. And I'm very interested in Meet the New World Order. Think I have something to say about that? Somebody like me? <laughs> the Alex Jones fans, a fan like myself? Oh yeah, I'm going to have plenty to say about that. So I'm just going to go off now and read Forever Evil. Expect to review in the next uh, hour or so <laughs> on, on my channel. But that's it for the time being. Got some reading to do. See you later. Goodbye.